Is that Dill's 2 0 win, clean sheet? Is that your perfect Saturday? Yeah, no, especially when I had a li as little to do as I did. Mm. So, yeah, no, obviously I enjoy doing things to help the team, but in the position we're in, you don't really want to be doing much at all. You want to just be leaving it to them and coming off with three points in the clean sheet like we did Saturday. Yeah, nobody, nobody would need to, to wash your kit after Saturday, was no, there? It was no. a, a nice one. Just from the warm up, I reckon. But no, yeah, yeah. so we're, we're happy with that. If, that. if that could be the case for the next 10 games, 15 games, 13 games, whatever it is left, sorry. Then we'll we're more than happy. Yeah, Gary and Carl have just been in here singing the praises of the back four. You've probably got the best view on them. How do you think they've settled down together? Given that there's Cameron and Jordan, no, two su keepers. superb. Another two new people coming in and doing exactly the same as what we've had throughout. So I think it just shows that sort of what the team togetherness is like and the way that people are fitting in with the Gaffer's way of mm -hmm. playing. You know what I mean? So they're. Um, They've both done really well. Jordan's obviously got experience in the league and, and Cam's obviously got experience higher up. So mm -hmm. you, there's no arguments with either of them coming straight in and doing really well. I was yeah, I was particularly impressed with both, with all the back four, but the two centre-halves for me, that I thought was excellent on Saturday. Really kept the pressure off, away from me. If they did have any, any threat of any crosses, low crosses, they were both first to it, getting first touches. I mean, people, some people might say because they only played sort of one up front then. They, will, they, they did to start off with, but then when they pushed the two further ones on forward down the, the line, they're dealing with three effectively, so they've done really well and, yeah, give, give me very little to do. Yeah, when when Dante got injured, obviously the the, the, the public uh, perception was, oh, we'll, we'll be fine, we'll, we'll get through it, we're strong enough. But was there a bit of a worry that, of course, that, that you'd lose that? he's been such a big team. part of the team. He's, he's a great leader and he's he's a great footballer as well and he, he does such a good job for the team and in the defensive side of things, do you know what I mean? So, of course, there would have been a little worry, but we've got players here. We've got the likes of Dickie who are injured at the moment, who hopefully will come back and, and come back in the side. Do you know what I mean? Who's was, was out, was an outstanding defender as well. And you know the gaffer's going to attract players. You know there's going to be people out there looking for loans from Premier League Championship clubs who are looking for loans in, in league football. And they might be, be able to only get something lower end League Two. And if they can come here and fight for a promotion, then what better opportunity to get to get a medal under your belt? Do you know what I mean? So... Yeah, we knew we knew that we'd be able to bring someone in strong, and Cam's come in, and obviously Jordan's come in in the in the transfer window as well. And yeah, they they've they've both provided extra cover and extra and extra numbers in in that in that department. But yeah, there, there probably was a bit of a worry. Back to the question when when Downs he got injured because he was a big influence mm -hmm. on the team, but he's still he's still up here. He's still there on a Saturday for us. Do you know what I mean in the changing room? So. Yeah, no, I think we've we've sorted it quite nicely. Yeah, he is captain still, isn't he? Yeah, he's still course. very much the leader of this Yeah, of course, and, and he, has, he has to be, do you know what I mean? Talking of the devil. <laughs> yeah, as he walks in the room. So, <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's brilliant to have around the boys. Are you expecting a more difficult game against Kidderminster, given the run of form they're on? They're, they're free-scoring as well at the moment. Of course, yeah, they're, they're obviously, what, three and three left one. Um it's a derby, so there's going to be hopefully a few more people there, and there'll be a good atmosphere, and they'll be up for it from the start. But I think all we can do is 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 give our best and do what we normally do, and we, and we should come out on top. Do you remember being surprised by them on Boxing Day? They they sort of flew out the traps at you. Yeah, they did. Quickly. Like you say, same thing. It's a it's a big game. It's a it's a derby for them as well as it is for us. So they'll probably be a bit more nerves flying around and things like that, a bit of apprehension. So. Yeah, to get a good start to the game, I think will be key. I think did we go one behind? No, what, what, we went one on, and they equalised, didn't they? So man scored the winner. Yeah, so um, <laughs> yeah, and another another shutout would be lovely, really, and then we can build off it from there. Yeah, do you, do you set yourself clean sheet targets? I think it's what is it, thirteen or fourteen? Yeah, something like that. Um, not really, no. If I'm honest, but like I've said to you before, I'd rather three points in a clean sheet all day long. So. It's not a massive issue, but it's nice. Do you know what I mean? It's a it's a lovely bonus. So hopefully, hopefully, there's many more to come.